Okay, this is a itchy little bastard. Question number two, 450 Marlin versus 375 Winchester. Which to take on a Yukon Sheep Scout? Have you ever seen a grizzly up close? They're really scary, but the masses have spoken and I'm putting my life in the hands of my subscribers. So they voted overwhelmingly for the Big Boar 94 375 Winchester. It's a combination of handiness, quick repeat shots, wonderful sights, amazing ergonomics these, these 94s have. shot. Did you get it? No. Too bad. I hit the, uh, I hit one of those little discs. 100 yards per shot. This is a really nice sight setup. <laughs> I really like this sight setup. Uh, with the sourdough front, which is super visible, and uh, it's a very nice gun to shoot off hand. Great practical accuracy. Uh, fast, fast repeat shots. Uh, easy recoil, so fast repeat shots. I think it got people really loving this. So it won. The 350 rem mag, I'm, I'm, I'm going with you. Went back in the uh, closet. So, but then I started thinking, well, power. I'm giving up a lot of power. So, out of my gun cabinet, at about 10 ounces heavier, is my Marlin. 450 mag, which used to be my polar bear defense gun when I lived in Nunavut. Both of these rifles shoot 1,900 feet per second with their favorite projectiles. And my favorite projectile is the 255 Barnes Original. And that's going 1,900 feet per second. In the 450 Marlin, it's a 400 grain bullet. This is a spear, and it's going 1,900 feet per second. At the end of its travel, these expand to like an inch, which is a cross-sectional density of an inch in the square. So that's pushing an inch at supersonic velocities through stuff. Devastating. I've shot caribou with this rifle. It's like you hit them with a sledgehammer. This 375 expands up to about 0 0.70. That gives you a half inch square. When you square it, that's about a half inch of cross-sectional area through a target at uh, supersonic velocities. So this has between 160% of the energy and maybe 200% of the real power of this. So double, almost double, depending on how you look at it. However, it's clunkier, it's slower, the ejection is pedestrian, it's not as just absolutely generation tested as this uh, old 94. I like the sights better on this rifle. And my wife is coming with me, she's decided. So she might have to save me. She could shoot this gun. I don't know if she could shoot that gun. But she might not have the gun. And this is all an academic exercise exercise anyway. So I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna take your, your uh, word for it, but which one of these two would you take? And uh, this is the shooting today. That's the 255 grain uh, Reloader 7. And I've now got it perfectly sighted in. I was taking down the 200 yard uh, a gong all the time uh, by aiming about a foot high. So it's on at 75 yards perfectly and it's shooting about an inch and a half groups there. And there's the 450 Marlin. Uh, I think it shoots just as well, but the sights aren't as good. I find that, uh, I found that buckhorn back sight, it's hard to index up and down. So you see that I always seem to get a bit of vertical stringing or horizontal, yeah, vertical stringing because I just can't quite index it as well as I can index this. The sourdough front sight is a uh, wonder. I don't know why they still don't make them. really like that sourdough front. It's a very fast sight to pick up. So, what to do? 